and therefore we launched this for everybody for everybody who likes delicious and nutritious foods So products either that we can buy today or in the near future, let's talk about the actual process. How do we, how are you creating these products? Um, the process has to start with um, philosophy. You know, I think, you know, when, when people think about, you know, science and engineering and process, um, you know, what first comes to their mind is, you know, uh, what's the science? What's the engineering behind that? What's the, you know, the hard movements that happen in, 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 in the process of making something. But I would argue that every process, every science starts with a philosophy in the first place. So for us, our philosophy was there's honey made by the bees in the market, the real one, that product quality wise is amazing, but has a baggage, has a, has a negative carry in terms of how it's made. Next to that, there's fake honey. There's basically adulterated uh, honey that's made by um, people taking fraudulent activities in blending a little bit of real honey and a lot of rice syrup. Um, and usually that's done outside of the US and some of those people are trying to get that product somehow in the US without um, you know, trying not to, to, not to be caught. The third group of products that we identified before launching our company and brand were vegan honey alternatives. Basically, all kinds of sweeteners catered only for the vegan population. There's, you know, products that call themselves something, something honey, alternative to honey, uh, made out of tapioca, dates, um, maple, um, you know, pure sugar, water, whatever. And these products are, um, you know, these products are just not honey. That's something that attempt of trying to impersonate as honey, but it's not honey. But, you know, it's a legit product. It's in the market. People can buy it. So for us, what was missing is the four group, which is basically the category that we pioneered trailblaze, trailblazing now and creating, which is honey, the product that has the composition of real honey that doesn't have any uh, rice syrups, nothing that doesn't belong to honey, but it's not made by the bees and therefore by default is vegan and plant-based. So that was the category that we started and we didn't start it only for vegans. Obviously vegans are our early adopters. They, they love what we're doing. I'm vegan myself, uh, but I do understand and I want this to be an inclusive company and brand. And mm -hmm. therefore, we launched this for everybody, for everybody who likes delicious and nutritious foods, mm -hmm. that by choosing it, you're basically voting for those little creatures to survive on this planet. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, and uh, you, you asked me about the process. So, um, you know, that's the philosophy. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the concept. That's the guardrails. So when you start with the guardrails that you want to make honey only from uh, something that in nature has touch with bees and honey, it's, it's kind of very strict. And uh, my co-founder um, and I and the team, we were studying a lot of, you know, different honeys, a lot of different anatomy of the bees, the science behind honey production, you know, bees land on a flower, they suck up nectar, and there's, you know, there are a couple of things in bees anatomy, like, you know, bee saliva, honey bees, honey stomach, all these processes happening. So we studied all of that. Um, and we came up with this a proprietary process where we interact with the plants. We take different parts of the plants. What's really exciting and cool is if you look into the bee, a bee just lands on top of a flower and they suck something from the plant. What we can do, since we don't have to actually fly and land on a, on a flower, what we can actually do is we can actually take the whole plant, break it into different ingredients, and take parts of the plants that maybe bees don't have access to, like roots. So we take all of that, we take the ingre different ingredients from different plants. We have more than 30 different plants um, in, um, in our product that, that we launched, and we created this 
uh, process um, that is basically mixing all those ingredients in a food facility in, in a kind of a regular culinary approach and basically create a product that looks, uh, tastes, um, and behaves like honey. And I'm going to show it uh, to people sure. right now. This is the, the, wow. this is the product from a direct-to-consumer um, collaboration we just launched with three Michelin star 11 Madison Park in New York City. So one more time, it's what's the big ask from the audience? We, we've heard your passion. We've heard the science. We've heard the flavor. You're amazing, ambitious. I mean, just walking into a restaurant like that i mean that's that's a bold move so congrats that it worked out so tell us again what's available and tell us again how to find it and uh, let us know what our options are to just follow you more and, and support you yeah i invite people to uh i invite people to uh follow us on instagram and tiktok uh, at melody m-e-l-l-o-d-y foods all together um in terms of purchasing this, head to 11medicinehome.com and you can purchase it there. Um, what all of you can do to help um, saving the bees is learning more about bees, learning more about pollinators, um, and you can do it through our social media. And finally, if you're equally passionate about bees and plant as we are, ask your favorite restaurant to reach out to us to offer melody in your favorite restaurant it can be a vegan restaurant or non-vegan we we're going to work with all the restaurants that reach out to us where people ask to see our product offered either on the menu either within a meal or just if you order a cup of tea and you want a side of melody